This video talks about the gastric parietal cells and all the things that happens in a gastric parietal cell. So let's first start with the nerve innervation. So imagine that this is the vagus nerve. Okay, The vagus nerve is going to stimulate this uh, neurotransmitter, this uh, presynaptic uh, uh, neuron, which is going to release acetylcholine. Okay, Acetylcholine is going to come and stimulate the M3 postsynaptic receptor. Okay, So vagus is stimulating the M3, and M3 works in the have and M and M. Have, M, and M. Do you remember the mnemonic? M1 and M3. This is for the GQ pathway. So it's going to stimulate the GQ pathway. And the GQ pathway makes IP3 and calcium. So this is going to be through the vagus pathway. Now this IP3 and calcium is in turn going to stimulate our potassium hydrogen ATPase, which is going to force hydrogen to come out and potassium to go inside the cell. So now what's the next thing that's going to happen? Vagus is going to stimulate um, the G cells. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to release GRP gastric release in pep and GRP is going to come and stimulate the G cells. Okay. G cells is going to be stimulated by GRP. The G cells is going to then release gastrin. The gastrin is going to go and stimulate this pathway and this is going to stimulate the CCKB receptor. This CCKB, this uh, stimulation is also going to be additive and it's also going to stimulate the GQ pathway. So this is going to join the GQ pathway and it's going to trickle down and stimulate the potassium hydrogen ATPase just like the M3 cell. Now this stimulation, this thing, this coupling, this CCKNB stimulation is also going to stimulate another type of cell and those are enterochromaffin-like cell okay this is going to stimulate this one okay so this is going to stimulate that enterochromaffin like cell is going to release histamine now histamine is going to go and bind to a receptor here okay it's going to stimulate the receptor that comes here and it's going to bind to to the h2 receptor when it binds to the H2 receptor, C H2 is uh, part of the GS pathway. The GS pathway is beta 1, beta 2, delta 1, H2, V2. Right? This H2 is going to be stimulating that. H2 is going to be making CAMP. Now CAMP again is going to stimulate the sodium hydrogen ATPase. So far we have been talking about the stimulatory pathway. Now let's talk about the inhibitory pathway and really there is two. One is going to be misoprostol. Okay, so one is going to be misoprostol and the other is going to be somatostatin. These are both inhibitory pathway. Both these is going to inhibit our CAMP because both of them work through the GI pathway. Other inhibition includes omi the prazoles, which are the proton pump inhibitors which work at the level of the sodium potassium ATPase, PPIs. You can also use atropine here, which is also going to block this. You can use um, cimetidine here, which is going to block the release of uh, histamine. One additional point is that the hydrogen is going to combine to HCO3- minus to form carbon dioxide and water and this is achieved by carbonic anhydrase. This carbonic anhydrase can come out through here and this can form in exchange of chloride so HCO3 coming out Chloride going in, this can form an alkaline tide. 